Hello, Core Chronos friends. Want to go through a scenario with you. I was updating from a previous version to 3.12, and this is what I saw after the update. System startup failed. Horrible thing to see. And uh, as I did a little bit of research on the internet, it turns out that the Core Chronos is actually just a PC running Linux. And uh, so I was able to look um, and see that if you take out the hard drive, you probably will be able to recover your files. Um, but if you just format the hard drive and start over, you're in trouble. So you have to take out the hard drive and then you need to install a new hard drive. Here is the uh, inside of the Core Kronos, never the way you want to see it. But you'll notice that right there in the middle uh, where the hard drive was, I've taken that out. And you can see that uh, it's relatively easy um, on the right hand side the PC board is there and you can see that it's uh, just got SATA cables just like a normal PC would with a power connector. You can uh, take that out and put in another drive or you can put in two hard drives if you want to. Here's the Korg Kronos uh, hard drive. Um, this is actually the replacement hard drive that I'm going to put into the Korg and so I attach that back up I'm going to take the Core Kronos hard drive that was in there and I'm going to save that because that's got all my work from a year. So uh, I've got a SATA cable there. I was thinking about putting in two. Um, but you can see the PC board is right there. That's just a regular uh, Atom processor uh, with a PC. And there's the SATA connector on one side. And then you can uh, plug it in over there if you want to. So you can plug in two hard drives but I thought that that would be too much heat inside of the cork, so I decided to just put one in. Okay, now it's time to reinstall the operating system, the Kronos operating system, and uh, that's a dual layer DVD player, and uh, that's the what you have to have in order to reinstall the recovery disks, one and two. And they will be inserted, and then you'll turn on the machine, it will boot up, and it will start reading from disk 1 and then after that ask for disk 2. Now it so happened that I had a problem with disk number 2 that I'm going to show you even though I powered the DVD player um, and had it plugged in to the wall it uh, was giving a really weird error that I'll show you. Okay number 2 has been put in and uh, it says press enter and I will do so. It looks like now uh, more PCM banks are being installed. So after a while it will go through and uh, install all of the different PCMs and this is what happened to me. It gave me this error. The USB drive does not have sufficient power but I had it plugged in. So that's actually an improper error. What it means to say is you have a problem with your DVD. And so I looked at the DVD to make sure, and sure enough, if you can see in the top, uh, there's scratches all over. Not sure how they got there, but that was actually the problem. So it was an improper error. So I had to reburn uh, the DVD, put it back in, and went through and installed, inserted DVD2 again, and after it mounted that, uh, it went through to completion. The download of the DVDs is possible, um, but it's in a link, and I will share the link in the post, so you can find the link below. Uh, once this is done, the Krona should come up as normal. Um, but it's minus any of the files you've been working on. So then I had to figure out how to get those files back onto my Korg. And what I did is I took out one of the uh, hard drives in my PC, and I plugged in the old original Korg Kronos drive there. You can see it. And plugged that in, and I found a piece of software that would allow me to access a Linux uh, system. And it's right there. It's called... Disk Internals Linux Reader. Um, great program. It's free. Found it on the internet. Version 2.6 works great. Uh, 2.5 had a virus, so don't download that. Anyway, 
as you get in there, you can see uh, your different partitions. Um, if you want to go to the Windows, I'm running Windows 7 um, uh, Partition Manager, you can do that as well. But you can see it there on the left-hand side, the different partitions. You want to go to the Korg Read-Write Partition, which is right there. And that will have your files in it, and it's a little shaky, I apologize. But right there um, are different folders, and you want the HD folder, which is there uh, in the middle, right up, up, yeah, right there, HD. That's the one you want. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, once you do that, you'll see all of your different folders and all your songs, and if you have WAV files, they will be present there as well. So you can take those, and then once those are, you select all, you can do a save. The save will be put into any folder that you specify, and uh, I suggest you put it onto a couple of different hard drives, and then make its way over to a USB drive. But anyway, so now it's completed, um, completed exporting 700 and something files. Once you finish with a drive, you can um, power your PC down, and then detach the drive and put it away for safekeeping. That's the original drive, Toshiba drive, that was in the Core Kronos.